Welcome to uh, a new series. Yes, yeah, yet another new series. This one was a difference. I'm stopping classic farming. You may have seen that today. Uh, and I'm going to take up with this. Uh, just going to do a double header so you can actually see the new farm and what we're going to be doing and what equipment we're going to be using. This is the small farm pack from some old blokes. And uh, namely the the originator of this was um, Chaos Knight. Uh, the equipment all comes in the pack, the tractors don't, they're all separate. And I should be warned if you use the Oliver, remove course play before you use it. Uh, course play doesn't like it. I'm guessing it's because it's fully tracked. And that's just a guess on my part. But uh, We're not going to look too closely at all the machinery here, but. Uh, but this is going to be a heritage farm. It's still on old time farm, but if you may notice, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, we have soil mod. I have been busy today and I added soil mod to it. I can never leave well alone. We have got a corn picker, a trailer, a combine. Now I been wanting one of these. I had one on 13. And great fun to use. Slow but great fun. Well, there's a cedar here. There's all kinds of equipment. It's a baler. Now this gives far better bales and far more realistic looking than the classic farm pack one. I'm using mainly this stuff. I probably won't use everything out of there but if we, I can't know if I've got Fast run on here or not? That's all the SBF. Over here is stuff from classic, classic farm pack plus a couple of other air tractors and uh, units. Mainly because there's no front loader you can get in the uh, old, really old stuff. But I got this was with in the downloadable pack for a uh, gift of the Caucasus. Um, the front forks are the auto ones by CS said because I'm not you I'm not gonna go that mad that I'm actually gonna be trying to do all that by hand and this is a beet harvester with a potato harvester attached uh, front the front bit here this is a bit down here that changes over uh, it's based on a 1967 I think the author wrote model so it's just about in the time I'm willing I'm running at mainly well 50s 60s and I think it's a, the old John Deere is probably very late 40s uh, this is, I can't remember who this was by I'm sorry I just cannot remember now or even where I got it from uh, Quite a nice tractor. It's a Falmet. Not a make I'm that familiar with. But with this lot, we are going to farm old time farm. I'm using all nine fields. At the moment, all full size, but I might just cut some down as we go on. So I think without further ado, we'll make a start. Um, I want a, a reasonably powerful tractor. And I'm going to take one out of the old gear. Yeah, that's this one. The farm old. Well, we'll try this one. Now, you may notice too, I have got manual attach on here. Because I thought, let's get it reasonably realistic. Now, listen to that note. Now, this has got one other trick up its sleeve. sleeve. This has got manual gears as the all the trackers from Cars Night have got and I've got to try and remember what does what I mean, that. do it on the keyboard I haven't got the key yet Z puts the upper gear there's a 5 speed box on it and O not 0 but O puts it down the beauty of this is you don't have to worry so much about uh, cruise control, you can just set a gear, floor 
the throttle and let her get on with it. But we're going to hook up to this and we're going to do some harvesting. I'll make a start anyway. I'm also, on this one, unlike the classic farm, I'm also going to have a go at the uh, baling. I don't like that little baler from uh, the classics pack. You can't do much with it. Uh, got it. But in the PTO, so far everything's been working well. So what's the betting that won't know? I don't think I'm going to want it in fourth. Now we're trying for it, should drag it, yeah. Uh, shall we start on five? Now we've got to find a way into five first. This is always fun for me. Oh, I don't know which side does that cut from that side. So I need to come in. Yeah. Um, I think I thought also, before I set that going, I'm going to just go and grab the combine harvester and set that up to do it on the other fields and that can do it on its own auto combine should work whilst working with this the auto combine won't work with a lot of the other stuff there and all too much automation of any description I think I sh should have gave myself a bit more room to put this in. I just spent time moving everything over. What's that down there? Have I, have I missed anything? Oh, that's a bucket for that. Uh, I think it's an MZ tractor. Um, I'm just going to see what we've got in what field. be best to do rape with this uh, canola oh the little fields yeah we do want the little fields no <coughs> no manual gears in here and I'm not I am not going to attempt to fit into everything but uh, I know my limitations And I don't want to mess everything up, getting it wrong. This because wasn't in the classic pack. There, someone had actually modded this um, from the FS13 one. Check the side, so I'm, I'm using drive control, but I've got crop destruction switched off. I think I'm going to have enough fun without uh, adding to it. Line him up. Yes, he said. No, let's see here. Ah, looks looks like well. Yeah, he's away, but I haven't put everything into uh, the proper parts yet. Now we've got to unfold this. So we look behind. There it goes. It unfolds. Now the thing about this is the paddles there work off the wheels not off the prop shaft the prop shaft drives the combine but they work from the wheels so I'm learning a little bit about it we lower it as you can see it's not running now if we move forward see they work I'm going to drop this down um, to third I or oh, even second I think for this. We're not gonna go for we ain't gonna want to go very fast. Now we turn it on. Looks like that's all working. Let's, let's see what happens. Yes it's working. And I wanna jump out of the cab so you can actually see what's happening. And we should be leaving the swarf behind, we are. Uh, I can drive better in the cab than I can out of it. Most people seem to be the other way around, but I'm always better in the cab. But 
come back with more. And you see there's a lot of moving parts on here. It's a wonderful mod. It really is. I've seen this when uh, the old OEB team, which in case you don't know, is the core of the uh, new uh, SOB team, some old blokes. And I think they pinched their name from my uh, multiplayer uh, team. <coughs> A little bit because we call ourselves the old timers. I'm going to have to keep the camera in because I cannot see very well for this. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. I haven't got anything on it. A trailer yet. I'm going to run for about three quarters an hour and should have thought on this. Just, just for the hell of it. But this really is nice. And actually, calm farming. You cannot do things too quickly. We can probably back up and, and level off here, but uh, yeah, it's filling up nicely and I'm gonna miss some if I'm not careful. I might put some grass down on some of these edges. One of the reasons put the soil mod on I want to take up some of the meadows and put them down to dry uh, grass, not the fields. I'm going to keep the nine fields and we're going to try and run a proper rotation. The back story for this, this is a heritage farm in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where it's meant to be. I haven't, I haven't bothered myself about that. And it's a tourist attraction. We are here to help the tourist industry to get people into the area. So we're going to be farming rare breeds. We will have sheep this time. One of the reasons we're getting the uh, front loader. I can now do sheep. I did toy the idea of having a uh, full. Now one of the things on this, I had to be switched on to put the pipe out. I hit the wrong key. My fault. Sorry. Uh, oh, I know. Uh, sorry, you have to lower it to get the pipe out. That's it. I've got the pipe out ready. I'm still learning my way around here. And they both want ambient, so we will try and find. Uh, what should we use? Should we use the Oliver? Yes, let's use the old Oliver. This thing is great fun. Where do I put it? Behind there, I see it. Alright, let's start this one up. It does tend, it does tend to roll a bit, but I'm putting it down to the tracks. Now how many vehicles have you seen with tracks this good on farming sim? Not many I'll be bound. Alright, back in and make sure that's on there. Oh my, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I'm just uh, checking I've got it. I'm actually going to sit in the cab to do this because I cannot see properly without let's check which way we got to go five is actually behind us so we need to turn around doesn't go very fast at first then we'll show it up again now it's beginning to pick up a bit of speed now we put it in the top Three speed gearbox, who wants more? You can keep your multi speed modern tractors. Well, what could be better than that? Let's drop it down to second. 
take more than one second because what tended to happen in the old days was the, if they only had one gearbox there'd be a top gear which would be for road use the bottom gears would be for farm use and quad film of course had uh, our, uh, our optional uh, gearboxes Fill this up and I bet it's going to empty the other one off. So not much work is going to be done in each day. I'm working on one day per growth stage and I'm hoping I can manage on that. And Mr. Big Bit here. So this is the perfect map for it. It's nice and small. Not terribly big fields allow. Two is quite large. I'm going to cut a cab because you've got to get very close to it in on this not quite that close <laughs> yeah, we're still too close collisions work as you see <sighs> let's try it there that's better there we go it's pumping out doesn't hold a lot and I can't uh, really have anything alongside it well I'm not going to I couldn't probably figure out how to get follow me to run alongside but there we are just over a ton all right let's find another tractor how oh, shall we take this beast out This is one we haven't driven before. It's bright, it's very bright red. But the mirrors work on this, unlike as they do on all the uh, small farm pack. Which is more than they did on the classic pack. This knocks the socks off the classic pack, the small farm pack. I would go along to Modding Central and download it. It's absolutely brilliant. If you like old equipment. Alright, now we've got to find a way to aid. So, hitting everything. This one hasn't got basic gears. This is, and it's quite noisy, this one. In fact, I was just having to turn my headphones down a bit so I can hear myself think. Uh, we're in. Oh, the next one along. I couldn't remember which one we started him on. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one and just let this one almost run automatically. Just build it up when we're ready. Should be all right. Should get past here, all right? So we'll shut that wall and find a way back to this beast. And I don't want that. Thank it. Well, not that beast. That's the beast was there. And he should be starting away. This is the one we want. All right, we've finished there. So we will now bring the pipe in again. Now we will hop in to the cab again. Hope we've got everything going again. Yeah, we must have it going in there. And we try driving a little bit in the cab. Now, I think the secret is your rear wheel should be just the way, just at the edge of the corn to be cut, or in this case, uh, wheat to be cut. I'm going to work, run actually. Uh, but at nine fields, we're going to run a nine year rotation. So, and one year will be, and then that one year will be that fallow. And for that year, I'm going to plant dry grass and then have the fun of plowing this dry grass out again at the end of it. That should be fun, especially with the plow 
Oh, that's the old days. And I don't think three mile an hour is far out to what this would actually do. It would be quick. I will be growing rape uh, because it says the heritage farm, not an old time farm. Heritage using all the, as much of the old machines as you nicely get away with them. It's not going to breaking everything in the uh, gearbox on this. So cattle will be going in, pigs will be going in, chickens will add up pigs, sheep will be going in and chicken. This is only a standard fruit map. Again, I'm not going to bother to add more fruit. I'm, I'm going to rest on rest my laurels and get uh, soil mod working. Now we're getting close to being full again now. Ah, the canal is about half full. Oh, I shan't bother show that combine too much because we're all. If we've played 13 this in, and oh, by the way, this. I almost forgot. This is actually especially for Jordan, who has uh, a nice comment on not to stop the classic thing because he likes watching the old stuff. I'd already decided that I was going to use this uh, as soon as Modern Central went live so that they get the uh, hits. Hello, I'm with another site, uh, I don't know, might as well just give it a uh, plug again, pcsg.uk. We are good friends with the, the folks at Modern Central, a lovely bunch of folks. Um, I'm not going to go into why they set up on their own. And all that, but uh, suffice it to say, it's the old OEB team plus some other models from Freelance uh, Modding Group, and uh, and also Satis is there who was with o that time with OEB, but before that, his best novel work on course play. They are a very talented bunch, even Disco. Uh, I have this little friendly uh, rivalry with this girl with uh, his YouTube channel is far more successful than mine and rightly so. But uh, we are not enemies, we uh, I like to think they're quite good friends. He may not agree but, uh, but then again what does he know? I wonder where it is. Oh well, we'll, we'll go all the way around. I'm gonna hop back in the cab. This is this Oliver is great fun to drive. I wouldn't want to take it on a really rough um, map with a lot of inclines. I think it could be a bit of a handful. And I'm hoping that can actually pull this uh, trailer when it's full. So, I, if you remember the, uh, well, I say remember, it's hardly really old, but the classic farming series was used in the classic pack, and that was it. Well, I, I found some more stuff, and I also found a spray. This came from Gift of the Corpus, it's again, it's a little bit bigger than I would like, but it looks the part, and that's, and that will do. And it's not exactly modern, it's, I think it's a 17 metre boom, which is, a, I prefer something about 10 metres, but uh, if I was any good, I'd, uh, and Disco would tell me, you'd put it in Blender Boy and shorten it. Uh, no, <laughs> that's not quite for me, no. I can we do this this time, I want to do it. I hope we miss completely. The SPF. No, we don't, not quite. We're not quite there, let's look behind. 
Oh, we hit, oh, we, yeah, go through that way, hit on a, yeah. Right, let's have a look, see what's happening here. Yeah, when, we're too close to the, uh, track, they're not close enough. I must have been turning a bit when I uh, filled up. Oh, no I can't see here. <laughs> it's my story. Because it's the one problem with the track that we don't stay quite as well. Now, one the bar. Oh, once more. Ah, we got it this time. If at first you don't succeed, give up. And there it goes, look, it's sliding again. <sighs> but I am putting that down to the uh, tracks. I'm going to have to fill him up and bag him off. Don't think we're going to get much done on this time. And we this is going to be another slow series. I am going to be doing most of this. Most of this work on screen. It seems to make sense. Let's hop back in the tractor. Turn this on again. Make sure as low as it is. When you think about it, this thing you almost have to go round and round. With that, uh, well, you, I think you go from one edge to the other would be another way of doing it. You can't drive straight through another field, you just wreck the whole field. I'll do one more lap run, then we go side to side, we go down one side, miss the side, and then come up the other. And I'm going to come out and try and catch some of this. I'm going to lift that. Now you look, if you go backwards, the paddles work backwards. It's it, it, brilliant. I have been playing with it a little bit, because I getting everything ready and the smile on my face the joy to behold I'm not actually cutting it I'm actually this looks at the side I should be cutting so I'm going to bring it back but no, this should be fun This is farming in slow motion. See, this is a John Deere, and I think it kind of like, uh, based everything onto real stuff, so all this stuff actually existed. He's like more, he was going to do more stuff, but it's getting the, not just the images, but the details on it. So he, but he has the, uh, done this as realistically as possible. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually dedicating this series to Jordan who uh, well, and thanks for the comment, Jordan. I much appreciate it. I'm sorry I had to say that I was thinking, but I didn't actually tell you exactly what was going to take its place. But I hope you enjoy this, because it's even more of the old machinery work. And, and we're going to be doing more work with it, rather than, as I did on the other one, just letting it get on with it. Plowing I might well put on... Uh, hard worker, if that will work on hard work, I don't know yet. But almost everything else I'm going I am going to do. Um most probably will end up uh, putting the uh, time on it 
growth time and up a stage or two. I don't think I'm going to quite coop. And I've got 29 fields. And how we'll be doing it is one or two fields of beet, and when they come off uh, beet, they'll be uh, arrested. I should imagine there'll be one or two of potatoes, depends on the size of the field. So as I say one of each it, and one rest and that's really six fields left and we have barley, wheat, maize and I still am not calling it corn because I'm British and corn is wheat as far as I'm concerned. I shouldn't have put it in that tight. What is he doing there? Is he still hard? Stuck, are you? Stuck, is he? Uh -oh. Oh. What's he doing there? You're not finished. Not unless of course he think What I'm going to do is just have to get rid of that one's been positioning. I'm going to put them up and down a few times. I think the turns are probably getting too tight for this old boy. And it's on the other side now. These are working. I won't take them long to finish that off, and I will put these into groups. <laughs> and we're almost full again. I think we'll call it it when we come down here this time. I think I am here, here actually. Just look at where that is. Turn it off. Space delay box of it. <laughs> but hear the sound of that. Let's have a look at this running. The sound you hear there is not in the pack, the, uh, that's the trailer noise pack uh, mod. The rat when you hear. This one can only drag things, there's no PTO on it. I had to think what age this actually is, it's quite an old toy. As you see, no steering wheel, just two levers. No speedo. You have got lights on it, but no indicators. And just to prove that the lights work, look if we get the uh, lights on. But no indicators whatsoever. So. Lights all off. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's on there's indicators on there, but you can't see them when the lights are on. No indicators, I don't think, on that. Now. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Get back in cab. As things go on, we will have a closer look at this. And if you notice, the throttle is, or oh, the uh, levers are moving as you turn, and those two are the steering levers. Now, uh, can we do it this time? What's the pattern we can't? It might be a bit too close this time. Yeah. Here we are, we're too close. <laughs> well, come on. Let's 
come out the pit so and see what's there. How oh, yeah. caught on there. I want to try and get him back a bit. That's better. Now, yeah, see, we're wrecking our lovely equipment already. Ah, no, we're not close enough there. It would be easy with a wield. Tractor, I have to admit that let's see what I'm doing about a wheel one. What that spoke is eh? What did you do? It should be there. I wonder if we haven't got the spoke out. No. Just let's see if we can mow the combine into the uh, hmm. I think I lost the neck. Too used to driving JCBs, that's my trouble. I wonder if that tries to there. Ah, uh, I bet that's got to be loud for that to work. Yes, no panic. Right, I'm going to leave this lot here and we're going to have a quick final look at that. And I'll bet he thinks this thing's in the way. Yes, he does. So I put him up and down anyway. Auto combine seems to want all the amount of room to, t to manoeuvre to turn around. Right, I think that we're going to end here and uh, we're coming back to the other ones to get the shot. Is that, I think it's the. I think that is the shot. F12, F12, eh? Got it. And with that, it's me and saying thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this step back in time. And I hope you don't mind the actual classic guy finished. This should be a better game all round, or better, better fun all round. The grief has a big field here. This is going to take us wherever. I am going to up this to two day per growth stage. I've just seen the size of it. Most of it will be done with the combine, to be honest. Well, I don't think we've got any money. Oh, if you like this at all, please leave a like. Oh, we've got one lot of mice. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. Uh, if you're not a subscriber and want to see more of this series, well, you can see it whether you subscribe or not. That is entirely up to you, but I just like to subscribe. You do get to know when I post a video, which is most days. This will be on uh, Monday. Classic farming on a Monday. Uh, any comments, questions, or mods you'd like to see in it? Uh, I'm not so worried about tractors because I think we've got more than enough tractors. Uh, but if anybody can find an old sprayer, 
Oh, please let me know with a link. Uh, and any other old, uh, any other old machine isn't actually in the uh, small farm pack. Although, if it, if it is, I will have a look at it. It may well feature on here. So it's Neil and saying, cheerio, you know, cheerio.